Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about analogous pairs. So this is part 6 of the analogous pairs series. And uh, today is Eid, as you all know. Eid al-Adha. And yeah, so let's just get right, right into it. So question number one, it's completely analogous pair. So question number one says, nurture, neglect, de uh, denigrate, question mark so what are we supposed to find first let's identify the relationship between nurture and neglect nurture and neglect are a pair of antonyms what does that mean we're supposed to find uh, the opposite pair meaning like what do they oppositely mean uh, first what does denigrate mean denigrate means to criticize unfairly so what is the opposite of criticize unfairly let's look at the definition so reveal means to uh, show something and that's not really uh, uh, the opposite because when you criticize unfairly you reveal someone's maybe uh, secrets or whatever uh, it's not recognized because uh, when you criticize unfairly you recognize someone's uh, flaws now let's look at what extol means extol means to praise enthusiastically and criticizing criticizing unfairly is the antonym of praising enthusiastically meaning the answer is b and if you have been following in a chronological order for the videos like if you watch one two three four five you know that we went to, through the word extol before and we should know what it means by now and what does calumniate mean? Calumniate means to make false statements about uh, something. So it's definitely not this because we can cancel it out since it has no uh, relationship with this uh, pair. Now let's move on to question number two. So question number two says planet orbit projectile question mark. So let's identify the relationship. The relationship is that uh, like this is a path that's traced by this meaning the orbit is a path traced by a planet so we're supposed to find blank that is a path traced by a projectile okay and what is that and what is a projectile? Projectile is a missile designed to be fired from a gun. It's definitely not the Milky Way because the Milky Way is like the galaxy that has our solar system. Uh, so yeah, it's not the Milky Way. It's like a spiraled galaxy and stuff like that. So it's definitely not the Milky Way. Let's look at our other choices. So is it a path, track, or trajectory? We can identify that track and path ha are like synonyms and they mean uh, the same thing. They are meaning the same thing. We can cancel that out. And what is trajectory? What is trajectory? Trajectory is a path followed by a projectile flying or an object moving under the action of giving forces. Meaning... A trajectory is a path traced by a projectile, meaning that the answer is A. You can have either uh, identified it by knowing the definition or by the process of elimination. Now let's move on uh, to question number three. Uh, question number three says genuine, authentic, mirage, question mark. So we're supposed to identify uh, the relationship first and foremost. So the relationship between genuine, authentic is that they are a pair of synonyms synonyms meaning that we're supposed to find the pair of synonyms uh, uh, in the bottom first uh, let's look at uh, what does mirage mean or mirage mean uh, it means an optical illusion caused by atmospheric conditions especially the appearance of a sheet of water in a desert or on a hot road caused by the refraction of light from the sky uh, by heated air so that was uh, a lot of information. So we can kind of think of it as just like an optical illusion or a hallucination. So what is the synonym of um, optical illusion or uh, uh, hallucination? First, uh, we can cancel out image and uh, uh, tra transcription. So this is supposed to be an N. I don't know what happened. 
Is it a reflection or is it an illusion? So I told you that it basically means an optical illusion, meaning that the answer is automatically D. Now let's move on uh, to question number four. So question number four says cobbler, leather, carpenter, question mark. Okay, so uh, we have to identify the relationship, first of all. The relationship between a cobbler and, uh, and leather is that, uh, like how a cobbler uses leather to make shoes, a carpenter, what does a carpenter use to make uh, furniture? Okay, so as we said, the cobbler, the cobbler uses leather to make shoes. That's, that's the relationship between cobbler and leather. So that means uh, a carpenter, carpenter uses wood to make furniture. So we identified that it's cobbler and leather, meaning it has nothing to do with the shoes. So we're supposed to identify that it's carpenter and wood has nothing to do with furniture and you might be tricked into choosing furniture but uh, it's not furniture we know automatically to cross these two out and then uh, we would be left with furniture and wood and the correct answer is wood because that's what a carpenter uses to make furniture they're not asking what what are they making they're asking the relationship between what they use what they use so uh, the answer is b now let's look at our fifth and final question so it says rupee india yen question mark so we're looking at the uh, uh, uh currency uh, the currency so we know that in india they use rupees meaning in what uh, what, what place they use yen is it in turkey no is it in bangladesh no is it in pakistan no it's in japan so in turkey they use the turkish lira and in bangladesh they use the bangladeshi taka and uh, similarly to India, the Pakistanis use uh, rupee, uh, so we can infer that Japan uses yen. We have now completed our five analogous pair questions. Please, please, please do not hesitate if you have any questions or concerns to email me uh, at whizworksyt at gmail.com or uh, you can comment it down if you have any sorts of requests or whatnot. Uh, I hope you guys have a good day today.